Hello, friends. Welcome to my place. My name is Dave. Very good to have you here. This is a very intriguing scent. It's probably one of the um, toughest in my collection. Toughest in that it took me a while before I got used to it. Now, this is Furio from the house of Jack Bogar. Jack Bogar, it's a very, uh, very famous house. Okay, they have a lot of fragrance. And uh, Furio, I think in literary definition, it means uh, captive. Okay, so that kind of give it an idea. Now, the bottle itself is very red. And the bottle is pretty old school, pretty cool, in a good way. And the spirit works perfectly fine. I sprayed it about a few minutes ago because I need time to adjust to this one. When used in the wrong situation, my mind gets I have a hard time adjusting to it and be able to put it in its proper perspective. Now, as you can tell, it's going to be a tough, darker, um, rougher type of scent. What I'm picking out on the top right away, it's, um, yeah, it's a very strong, animalic, musky. Um, yeah, it's very, very strong. Animalic, that's the most uh, fitting way to describe this. I'm getting like a bit of freshness from lavender and fig and some vetiver, okay? But mainly that the strong uh, castorium is coming through. But this castorium, the way it's mixed with the other notes, is going to smell a little bit different than, well, than the other castorium scents that I have. Just a tad bit different, but because it's very potent. That's the best way to describe it, it's potent. Yeah, very, very potent with a musky note. So... Usually, I would say level one is for the masses, very beginner, people that are used to the um, uh, easygoing type of scent, okay? Now, this level two is going to be for those with more experience. Uh, you smell more stuff, you want something a bit more interesting, artistic, I guess. The th level three is, these are the fragrances that the level two people still need time to adjust and get used to it. So, this is for me a level three. I mean, I have Telepidus, I have um, the older Bogar, uh, Bogar scents, Jack Bogar. I have the um, other tougher scents, but this is one of the harder ones, the toughest one, Because of the, because when I smelt it right away, you could tell there's something animalistic about this. Um, not in a bad way, it does not smell, uh, you know, urine or fecal, not, not, that's not what I mean, but it's something... As if, as if I'm smelling an animal, like, you know, a wild animal. For some some reason, I could kind of picture that it's going through my head. I mean, I did not know what it was, was about when I bought it. It was a blind buy, but I like the house. It was cheap. I bought it for under 30. The reason I'm reviewing this, because I see on uh, fragrance by .ca, they have it again for about 26 or under 30. And I thought, okay, <laughs> there are still people buying this. Let's go ahead and talk about this. They must be um, intriguing enough for them to be selling it again, right? And that must be like people that is used to level three or level two people will want to try level three. So here it is. Just to give you an idea in case you, you um, what I think is one of those stair devils. <laughs> Actually, it's not that bad. Um, once I got used to it, it took me a few wearings to, to get used to it. Now, I got to say, though, um, this is for the cooler weather, the cooler environment. So I, I don't even want to try this in the high heat outside for sure. But right now, I'm wearing it because it's, um, I'm indoor with the AC. It's warm outside, but I'm indoor, so I'm fine. And this is coming through to be pretty enjoyable, though, once I'm in the proper mindset, okay? I have to say that. So other notes, yeah, I'm, I'm in the mid middle right now. I'm getting the castorium is stronger. There's a patchouli, and there's tobacco, okay? Tobacco notes, yeah, I can, I'm picking that up. And there's some sweetness, maybe from the lavender or the amber, okay? But the main thing I'm getting, also coriander, I'm picking that up. Yeah, so the, there's supposed to be seven notes, but I'm not getting that, okay? But I'm getting the castorium. And the darkness is also from the patchouli, just a bit of sweetness from that. Yeah, okay, so this is a powerhouse, you gotta know. And... I said, what else can I say? I mean, I was thinking about either you're going to like it or you're going to hate it. 
but I think you could be in the middle. So, okay, it's about 10 minutes since I spread it. Just when I thought it settled down, I'm putting my nose to the skin and yet it's, it's coming potent again as if it, it, like a roller coaster. It became tamed just a bit for a few, few minutes and then it came coming back up to be very, very strong already. So yeah, this is a power, powerful scent. Uh, it does last more than half a day for me, almost a full day. Um, this one time when I used it in the warmer weather, I had to wash it off because pe people around me was not enjoying it. This is for sure getting some used to. So what else can I say about this? It's musky. You could say it's a little bit of a rosy note. You could say, what you are you talking about? And also incense. I was going to say that. I was thinking when I was wearing it, it smells like I have different flavors of incense. And this one does remind me of incense. This is one of those I smell a gamut of things. I mean, even floral in there. Yeah, so for sure it's very musky and animalic. Those are the two things that I could category. I think is best describing this. But I could smell some earthy notes, you know, maybe from the patchouli. You know what? Should I use the word filthy? Maybe not. <laughs> but yeah, it does smell filthy. But it's one of those that, you know, you should not be good to smell, but you want to smell it. Okay, especially in the comfort of feeling, I know that there's nothing bad in here. It just the smell, the chemistry, right? The chemical, uh, the ingredients. So you're not really smelling the animal. You're not really smelling the filth. So be for them to really portray that. Yeah, it's it's nice though. I mean, I gotta tell you, in the right mindset, I, I'm okay with this. In fact, I think it's so cool. Um, but I think the occasion to wear this is very limited, so it's not versatile. You don't want to wear this to, to where there's a lot of people. You got to know uh, when people are going to be okay or you're not going to be around okay, others. Yeah, so okay, just a very short thing. It is very powerful. If you ever read or heard about this, it's been potent. Yeah, it is potent. Potent as if it's very strong. It's coming in, rushing in, and there is... There's um, sometimes I feel it's like unpleasant time of notes because um, the other fragrance that I have that I, have, I needed time was um, Utamame. Wait, is it Utamame from um, Nisha Name? And that one, though, there's a couple of them. Well, the other one smelled like elephant skin. That one is tough, and yet it was I was more okay with that one than this one. This one will like change in the middle and then. Like I said, I'll be okay in one moment and the other moment is like, okay, give me a second. This is still that strong even after many worries. I, I have this for maybe more than a year. So I'm just letting you know, uh, it is tough for me. So you have be in the right mindset when you get into it. And that's the only way I think for you to be okay with it and not be like, like you know, feel disgusted right away, okay? So once you know what you're getting into, you have your mind ready, then you'll be okay. I keep repeating that because this is, this is one of those. I don't want you to like throw it out the door once you get or put it in the trash can. So it is a good one once you get used to it and you know, okay? But just, just know. Yeah, um, for them to call it for you, it's interesting because I think it means that in Japanese, it means captive. So yeah, I could see that. I, you know, I could see that. But why would they call it that? But it's kind of you know weird. Yeah. So after right now, it's been about 12, 13 minutes since I sprayed it before the video started. I'm still getting that same notes, and then it basically just stayed like that. But the the what I call the animalic note is gonna tone down just a bit. And the uh, other notes like the um, patchouli and the little bit sweetness from the amber. But the musky is going to stay there from the beginning to the end, the musky notes. So yeah, um, I don't have anything that close to this. So I, I don't even recall anything that I ever smelled that, that fragrance-wise is close to this. So I'm not even bothered, okay? The quality, you know, is good. It's not harsh. It's not anything out of place or you could say the whole thing is out of place maybe if you're not used to it or you, you hate it then you could go that direction but for sure this is old school all right this is one of the um yeah you could tell nothing modern is going to be like this this came out in i think the late 80s or you know 
or early 90s or late 80s during those times so you could still call this i would call this a 80s powerhouse i know i'm mumbling on because yeah it's not transitioning and i smelled it it, it stayed like this so this is what i'm getting so for sure masculine not versatile um be cautious you know wear it with caution that's the best way to describe it but hey some of us we enjoy those very intriguing very dark and dangerous type of scent this is one of those okay all right then just let you know how how scary this is as we go into it i hope that is helpful as always thanks for watching see you next time